بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ Dear friends, in this video, I will explain about the methods practiced in India. Actually, how many methods are adopted in sheep breeding? There are three methods. First one is traditional method. Second one is semi-intensive grazing method. And third one is intensive grazing method. Intensive grazing method also called as zero grazing method. The first method of traditional grazing was originally practiced by almost all sacred prophets, messengers. May peace be upon them all. Therefore, this profession is noble man's profession. Very ancient method and it is being practiced by generations. This is traditionally practiced method. If you wish to start this profession, you can feel proud because this profession had been the profession of prophets, messengers of Allah. There is no much amount is need to be invested under this traditional method. As all the day sheep graze outside at pastures, barren lands, forest areas and marginal areas. This met method is convenient to small farmers, peasants, but flock cannot grow much as expected as energy gained by gained through this method will be wasted in to and fro journey of the flood so friends why this method is not lucrative there is high risk higher mortality rate due to lack of scientific management danger from wild animals thieves is seemingly more non availability of green fodder all the time shortage of green fodder due to dec declining of grazing lands and forest land also one of the reason lack of interest of current generation in this traditional grazing method because it consumes much time which has to be spent outside which present generation does not like to do under these circumstances, what to do? The first one is grazing method has to be changed and scientific methods and innovative new methods have to be adopted. In next part, I will explain about scientific method adopted worldwide. Dear friends, in part 4, I have explained about the pros and cons of traditional grazing method. In this video, I will explain about semi-intensive grazing method. Here you can see an image. In this image you clearly see one shed as well as the sheep is grazing in the open land. This is called intensive grazing. Under this semi-intensive grazing method, sheep and goats are grazed sometimes in the fields and rest of the time in sheds. Under this method, Necessary feeding, clean drinking water and disease management systems etc. adopted and monitored and provided in shed itself. This method is well suited to rural youth where there is greenery and wasteland both is available. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear friends, now I will explain about intensive grazing method, also called as zero grazing method. This is intensive grazing method or zero grazing method. In this method, the sheep flock are kept under shed and medicines, feed, 
and uh, other management methods are adopted in shed for some time the sheep are grazed in the open area available for relaxation under this zero grazing method sheep flock is totally kept under sheds fodder feed and clean drinking water is provided in the sheds itself this innovative method is being practiced worldwide and farmers are earning good profits under this intensive grazing method investment is little bit higher than the semi intensive grazing method but as sufficient fodder feed and clean drinking water is provided expected growth is rate is very high therefore profits are also very good under this intensive grazing method scientific flock management is management such as fodder management feed management disease management is very easy it means sufficient fodder feed and sufficient drinking water is provided in shed itself since sufficient food and the sufficient drinking water is provided and proper disease management proper vaccination and deworming is undertaken at regular intervals sheep mortality rate is very less labor charges are very less therefore profits are very higher in this method dear friends you have come to know about the three methods of grazing number 1 is traditional method number 2 is semi intensive grazing method and third one is intensive grazing method or zero grazing method so if you are already following the traditional method slowly try to leave that method and try to adopt the semi intensive method or intensive grazing method and earn high profits if small forest and grazing land is available nearby your farm semi intensive grazing method is best or otherwise intensive grazing method is very best for you you have to take a decision based on your circumstances and other points taking into consideration all the best my friend thank you very much